What's up guys, welcome to my LEGO Star Wars Jedi Temple Mock Showcase video. So I've been building this mock for over a year now and I've put thousands of dollars and tens of thousands of pieces into this mock. So I'm very excited to finally show you guys the completed mock. Now, as a thank you to everyone for supporting me while making this, I'm going to be giving away this 501st Battle Pack. So all you have to do to win this is make sure that you are subscribed and just comment down below and you could possibly win this and I'll announce who the winner is in two weeks. But also somewhere throughout this uh, mock video, there will be a little hint at what my next LEGO Star Wars mock is going to be. So make sure you watch the whole video and comment below what you think the next mock will be. Anyways, I think it's time that we now get into showing this mock off. So this mock has a lot of different rooms and hallways, but I think I'll start off down here with the first room that I built, which was the Jedi Archives. So I'm really happy with how these archives turned out. I decided to just use these transparent blue tiles uh, on their side using a snot technique to represent what the archives like the archive shelves would look like and I think it did a pretty good job I did originally want to use a different technique but I think that this technique was the best one to use because it was also the cheapest that I could figure out but I've just tried to set out a bunch of 501st clones and a bunch of Jedi so yeah the, I don't know just a bunch of different battle scenes but I've also got the tables and the chairs that are in the middle of the archives here. And I don't know, I've tried to set the minifigures out as cool as I could. I think I did a pretty good job, but let me know what you guys think. But I've also put lights in the archives, so the lights definitely make it look a lot brighter. But I've also put in all the little like statues that you can see in the archives. And then there's the second story here. Tried to use a lot of different species for the Jedi just to represent how, um, like, different all the... Yeah, like, just how many different species there are in the Jedi Order, but definitely like how this little scene turned out with the two jet troopers here. And I really like this one as well, how he's using the Force to um, drag that clone up the wall. But yeah, oh, probably the archives are probably one of my favourite parts of this mock. I definitely think they turned out really cool. And all these windows here show through into the big hallway that is behind this wall. So I really like how that turned out as well. And I just put a staircase here as well, which goes from the bottom to the top. But I guess now we'll just go through to here. So I've got this big doorway here. That goes out into this little hallway. And I've just got a Jedi fighting off some clones here. And that Jedi logo piece is from the brand new Jedi Temple set that came out not long ago. But you can see there's a little doorway there. And that door leads into the Holocron room, which I think turned out really nice. Just got a Gungan Jedi there. But yeah, I'm really happy how this turned out. I really like the walls. And I think that um, this piece works really well representing the holocrons. But then moving around this way, I've got the Jedi Council room. And as we all know, during Order 66, Anakin goes into the Jedi Council room and kills all the younglings. So I've got this youngling here with his legs chopped off. That one uh, got beheaded. And this one's just getting stabbed through the stomach right now, but definitely really like this room as well. Now I'll move around to the back of the mock. I've got this massive hallway here. Really like these massive windows. I think they turned out really cool. So I really like this dark red stripe that goes the whole way down this hallway here, but... Again, just tried to set the Jedi and clones out in a really cool way. Got the fighter tank in here with a Jedi running up to kill the officer. But yeah, I really tried to just also get a lot of dead clones and Jedi. Clones that have been chopped in half and beheaded and stuff like that. Just to really add to how gruesome Order 66 was. And then yeah, just got this stairway here that leads into the council room. And this is one of my favourite parts as well. Got this balcony here with all the sniper clones shooting down into this hallway, just trying to take out as many Jedi as they can. 
but this is what that hallway looks like. Again, I just decided to go with the red stripe because I really liked how it turned out in the bigger hallway. But I really like the minifigures in here as well. Got a bunch of clones shooting at all the Jedi running at them. And I like the walls, what I did as well with the Jedi statues and I've got some little bushes and stuff below there. Really like how that all turned out. And just a little Easter egg. I put Grogu there. Now, I built this before we uh, actually found out how Grogu survived Order 66. So I just was using my imagination a bit there. But obviously, we now know that's not really what happened. But yeah, I still like it. And I've got a heavy 501st clone with a brick arms. Um, oh, sorry, not brick arms. It's their clone army customs uh, minigun. And then, yeah, that doorway there just leads into the top story of the archives again. So that's pretty much the whole bottom half of the mock. And now I can show you the second half of the mock, which is the third story. Now, this third story I tried to base off the Star Wars Battlefront 2 2005 video game. There's a, a Jedi Temple map in that game and sort of tried to base it off that loosely. It's not 100% accurate, but I also changed a few things like the colour and I didn't put these big pillars in just to save money and also because I thought it would look better this way. But my favourite part of this whole story here is the is the balcony. Now, just like in the game, this balcony is a curved balcony. And to get it curved, what I did is stacked a bunch of 1x2 bricks together. And when you stack enough of them together, there's a little bit of flex. And then you can eventually get a full circle. But I really wanted to get a gunship onto this balcony. And I managed to do that. The gunship actually acts as support for this balcony and makes it more sturdy. Doesn't Even though it's like just hanging off the edge, it doesn't really wobble too much. And I'm really, really happy with the balcony. And I've just got this Jedi here using the force to push a clone off the edge. And I fully loaded this gunship up. Got some gunners in all the seats and two 501st pilots in there. And these massive arches here, just like in the game, I made the center one taller than the other ones. Now, there's five of these in the game, but this mock was only big enough to put three of them in. And this is another really cool scene here. This Jedi is just trying to escape in the Jedi Starfighter, but all these clones are trying to stop him and got a, another clone here with a minigun shooting at him. So I don't think he's going to get away, but going through these uh, little archways here, there's a massive battle going on in this wide open room. So I think I'll just start up here, but I've got this Jedi, Patrick, <laughs> um, fighting these clones and this is one of my favourite scenes up here. We've got two Jedi Temple guards, one of them throwing a lightsaber into that clone. But I'll go down into this room here. So this room is like a Jedi Temple guard training room. And for those of you who don't know, during Order 66, the Grand Inquisitor, who was a Jedi Temple guard, uh, turned on them and killed them all. So that's what I'm just showing here. He's He killed one of those two and stole his lightsaber and is fighting off some more there. But I think that looks really cool. And then in this room, I've just put a like a uh, medic room, sort of, like a hospital. And got these clones coming in, about to kill this Jedi. And the medical droids just have their arms up. But I've got some back to tanks here with a Jedi recovering. But I think he's about to get killed by that clone. And over here, just got some snipers taking cover behind the barricades. And they're shooting down. Just yeah, a bunch of different fight scenes going on here, but it's got this officer with a holocron talking to Darth Sidious, just getting the Order 66 orders right now. I've got these two Jedi here. They're the same species, so I guess they, they might be brothers or something, and they are just got each other's backs defending each other. Yeah, just really tried to do the minifigures as good as I could because this is my first proper mock that I've ever made. So I think the minifigures did come out pretty good. But then I've got this massive wall here and I've got these, uh, I don't know, just 
just a bit of detail, I added them. I think it definitely looks much better than just a plain tan wall. And I've just got another Jedi Temple Guard running out these two clones here. But I want to show you guys the view down here. I think that looks really cool looking at the gunship. And I'm really happy with how these stairs turned out as well. But yeah, so this was, like I said before, this room was based on the Battlefront 2 map. And I definitely think that it does capture what it's supposed to be. Let me know if you guys think I did a good job at that. But that's overall the whole mock. I'll show you from a different, a few different angles now. But yeah, like I just said before, this is my first proper mock that I've made. When I was younger, I did make a few smaller mocks, but they were pretty bad. Nothing like this one. So let me know if you guys think I did a good job for my first mock. And I do have another table here ready for a second mock. So... And I've already got it all planned out, what it's going to be. And it's going to be very, very cool. So if you guys like this mock, make sure you subscribe so that you can figure out what that mock's going to be once I start building that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for all my subscribers and viewers who have supported me while making this mock. And it is finally done. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. And I just wanted to quickly show you what it looks like at night time with all the lights on. So yeah, definitely looks very cool with all the lights on. But that's it now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.